Uh, okay, I don't know. I think I'm. Oh, bro, I want to top right, but sure thing. If I'm not there, then you won't see me. I'll be staring over there anyway, so I won't be looking in the camera. You know, it's pretty face, you know. <laughs> but anyway, if the camera doesn't work or you can't see it, you're missing out. <laughs> All right, let's go about today. Let's make a forecast. Where are we? What happened? So on the weekly, let's prepare the charts for next week. So our previous weekly high. Previous weekly high. And we have our, ooh, look at that previous weekly low. And there were no sellers. Like, oh, there, there were sellers. But on this weekly candle, we can see we're pure buyers until here. And we got that minor wick, wick thing. But mainly buyers taking out all the internal range liquidity or not even internal range because we had this yellow structure. We had the red one within and we had this yellow structure and we broke barriers. So we actually took external range liquidity. But instead of external range liquidity, uh, continuous structure, we broke bullish on the higher time frames. <laughs> and by doing so, we came into this daily uh, order block we came into the monthly fair value gap and the monthly well there's another fair value gap but we took this one um if anything in this leg i like i wouldn't yeah this is a fair, fair value gap but i wouldn't class it at, like as an important area i would rather there you go take it as maybe a weekly area or more importantly the daily because there that's where like where you can see like okay we had this daily order block that took out some of these highs i don't know if it took out all of them anything we still then if it doesn't take all out all of them we still have equal so we can check that right now i think this one is the highest one so no so this one is a little bit higher to the one to the left but it took out this one and you can see high low lower high low low bullish break bearish break so disruption of highs which makes it a strong daily uh, py <clears throat> then where are we now i don't know why this is here it should be for now it should be like this we don't know if this will be the high of this bullish range or the price will continue up take out these highs as well and then continue down what we know is that we took some liquidity we took some highs so we maybe can see now on the higher time frame uh turn around in price where we go lower <clears throat> so structure wise we turn bullish liquidity wise we still have liquidity to the downside liquidity here taken uh, a lot of liquidity here we have this bullish range and we got previous weekly lows over here previous weekly highs would be in terms of highs and lows being taken would be nice maybe to see price take out the previous weekly high team down but when you go lower you can see why this might not be the case um well, actually let's leave that on for our wise what do we have okay so if i would make a forecast now i would say we can we still have this range in here Let's first go lower. This might be a fake range as well. Fake bullish break, bearish break. So this is your, uh, let's zoom out. Let's make it better. This is your early buyers over here. Uh -huh. What color do we have? Oh, it's purple. Oh, I like this color. Purple bluish. So this could be your early buyers, the price coming down. And then over here, maybe some movement, take out, down, up, down, and then bullish break. Because dollar is weak, euro is strong. If anything, this break structure indicates that. And it was interest rates or CPI, one of them came out higher than expected i don't know i don't remember but it was i don't know if it was good for the dollar i don't think so 
but yeah, so that that could be one. Uh, that could be like long term. Go down lower. What's this? Yeah, we talked about that. We have this blue structure. Based on this blue structure, we can see um, price coming down, coming into the discount of the range would be perfect to take up previous weekly lows. Uh, although that low, if we go lower, it's not like a like a significant low in my opinion. It is a low. It sits at this uh, support area. Is it? Yeah, it is. Kind of. See over here. Let's just track it. A little bit of support, as you can see over here. Yo. My mom's going to bed. Oh, this forecast is horrible. Um. Actually, yeah, no, I'm going to continue. This is raw material, right? So I'm just studying the charts. So yeah, based on the uh, dark blue structure, we can see price coming down, trickling down, taking out this internal range liquidity, taking out previous weekly lows, and then maybe either come into this order block or PY, which I don't think will happen, but we'll see. Either we break through or we react from this, like this huge fair value gap. I can't remember, it's Friday the 21st. Friday. It was the first Friday of the month. So this was NFP Friday, I think. And this might be, uh, this movement might be off the back of news. Looks like it. Let's see. I think so. So if that's the case, then what's this? Oh, there's a little candle, a uh, little arrow getting distracted. So then I might see this taken out. Same with this, off the back of news taken out and continuation bearish. Then let's actually go about the forecast because I'm discussing way too much price action. We got some lows here. This low is taken out. This is taken out. We got the Asia low over here, which still fell it. We still got this over here. Maybe do it like that. You can see price come below there. Now we are forming bearish structure. As you can see, we took up this. This was a previous daily high. Price took that out. And then we start forming bearish structure on the 15 minute. So like that. And then from there, from there. Well, and we can see now that we are in the premium of our most recent bearish 15 minute range. And knowing that, we can look over here. We have this POI sitting over there. Let's zoom in. We got a 15 minute POI. I'm not satisfied by my the way I'm doing this today, but as I discussed with MK, it's raw material. It is what it is. Some days you feel good. I feel good, I feel great. Although I ate way too much this weekend, but I feel good. Just this forecast is not that good. But oh, it's not even forecast, just discussing price. So we said we can reach the discount on the dark blue range. Uh, we already reached discount on this purple range, but we're still following the bearish 50 minute range or structure. Therefore, we can continue to look for sales, especially because I think now we came above these high time frame highs. I think we have to like you have to, like on a lower time frame you take a high and after taking high price can take low liquidity plays and now we took a high time frame high so I expect price to take a high time frame low which can be either this low or this low or as I said fake out this low that's high time for forecast there you have your forecast I think I already said it like three times <coughs> cool yeah um what can we see here? Going down lower. Still have five minute PY up here as well. And what should, 
is what is this pui what makes this pui strong Here's the chaining and a disruption. Is there a disruption? No, not really. It's like this strong because we have got this liquidity we sitting below. So that's good for the POI. Makes it a stronger POI. Um, you see break structure, then high, low, lower, high, lower, low, lower, high, lower, low. This was the last immigrated area. This thing is annoying. Holy shit. Get out of here. Man. Might as well include this high. There you go. So we got the large fair value gap on the one minute there, which is an interesting area to short from or to look for confirmations. And this 15 minute POI where we tapped in right now. However, we didn't have any early sellers for the POI. So this moved down. Can be classed maybe as your early sellers it's on the five minute. <clears throat> like that. They will probably be taken out. Look at this build up. So when the market opens, they might take it out. I would like the background, by the way. It's cool, right? Viper Fives. I should actually place my own logo there. I'm, I'm, uh, I don't know the English word. Bedrigen. Betraying myself by putting someone else's logo on there. But yeah. All right. So yeah. Then what can we see as well here? We got some liquidity building up over here from these lows. This is unmitigated. It's counter trend. It's pro trend with the with the purple range. Like the the one hour ish range. You can see over here, it's pro trend. But it's just a minor break. And as long as this this bearish order flow and bearish structure on the 15 minute get the uh, stays respected or price keeps respecting it, I won't look for buys there. <laughs> uh because also on the what I said with the higher time frame or my high time frame bias of price continuing short. Mm, what else is there? Let's draw it out. So what we might see happen, but this is all the all priced out, balanced out. PA. That's also balanced out now. That's interesting though. What the fuck? Uh, it's a sneeze, but it's like annoying. All right, so I actually respected that. Let's quickly. Oh, it's so much better. This is the law. Actually, not this is the law that lets you decide. Let's use that one. What's on? There you go. <laughs> so, forecast wise, we might see if we continue this, we might see something like this. Maybe an inducement. And then bearish break. Continue up, continue down. Something like that. Because we still had that unmitigated wiggle over here. And this is going to be tricky to trade because, yes, we were expecting the high time frame or the more compared to this bearish range, we give respect in a more major range, but we still haven't like we did everything, almost everything on the high time frame still left. Like we did everything to get 
to make sales more and more, uh, how do you say that? To get everything, almost everything, to make, to make sell trades in our favor, put sell trades in our favor. Let's bring it that way. Because we took, we broke bullish, meaning we need to, uh, okay, first, first we were inside this range. We were like this. And then sales were in our favor because because of the yellow range, the yellow structure. Now we broke bullish. Sales are not only in our favor because we are selling above all highs, meaning that we broke bullish and now we want to reach a discount for longs, but also we took liquidity. So not only structures in our favor, but liquidity is also in our favor. So that's why shorts are stronger in my opinion. But then with the light blue or the dark blue range, um as well that where we didn't reach a discount yet oh sorry for switching up and down so much from this low that it's this high we still have to reach discount over there so on the lower time frames as well as on the higher time frames we're selling or we are above all high so price is more g price is most likely to go lower, in my opinion. That's just my opinion. Can maybe see something like that. See liquidity or maybe some some huge gap here or uh disruption of highs or lows or chaining. There's rate continuation. This can be your, your price range trap. Oh, that, that could also not, not be a case where we where we get something like this. So we don't reach the, the this will make it even better. Where we don't reach the, 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 the premium and take that out, make the continuation down. Oh, it's not really a forecast. Well, I'm making a forecast, but I'm just, 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 just talking to myself. Shit, I need help. Um, so yeah, that that's my view for next week. Actually, so that's my bias. Taking out these highs, and get a reaction. Come down here, get a reaction here. Come up, or. Continue up, turn around here, continue down, then react from there, get the fake out, continue down, bearish break, and then down. That's pretty decent. I screenshot this, sell this an NFT. Okay, a bit messy forecast, but these are my main scenarios. Oh, following the boat assuming that we will not uh that this bullish range here will not hold so yeah thanks for watching it was a horrible um recording but yeah